The Virgin Mary in the Kingdom of the Divine Will Day 11 The Queen of Heaven in the Kingdom of the Divine Will in the first years of her life down here forms a most refulgent daybreak to make the longed-for day of light and of grace rise in the hearts. The Soul to the Little Baby Queen here I am again, near your cradle, celestial little mama. My little heart feels charmed by your beauty, and I am unable to detach my gaze from a beauty so rare. How sweet is your gaze! The motion of your little hands calls me to embrace you, and to cling, to press myself to your heart which is drowned with love. Holy little mama, give me your flames, that they may burn away my human will, and so I can make you content, living of divine will together with you. Lesson of the Queen of Heaven My child, if you knew how my maternal little heart rejoices in seeing you near my cradle to listen to me. I feel myself, with facts, queen and mother, because in having you near me, I am not a sterile mother or a queen without a people, but I have my dear child who loves me very much and who wants me to do for her the office of mamma and of queen. Therefore you are the bearer of joy to your mamma, more so since you come onto my lap to be taught by me how to live in the kingdom of the divine will. To have a child who wants to live together with me in this kingdom so holy is the greatest glory, honor, and feast for your mamma. Therefore pay attention to me, my dear child, and I will continue to narrate to you the wonders of my birth. My cradle was surrounded by angels who competed among themselves in singing lullabies to me as to their sovereign queen. And since I was endowed with reason and with science, infused in me by my creator, I did my first duty to adore with my intelligence and also with my babbling little voice of a baby, the most holy adorable trinity. And the ardor of my love for a majesty so holy was so great that feeling myself languishing, I was delirious for wanting to be in the arms of the divinity to receive their embraces and to give them my own. And so the angels, for whom my desires were commands, picked me up, and carrying me on their wings, brought me into the loving arms of my celestial father. Oh, with how much love they awaited me. I was coming from the exile, and the brief pauses of separation between me and them were the causes of new fires of love. They were new gifts that they prepared for me to give them to me. And I would find new devices to ask for pity and mercy for my children who living in the exile were under the lash of divine justice. And dissolving myself all in love, I said to them, adorable trinity. I feel happy. I feel myself queen. Nor do I know what unhappiness and slavery is. On the contrary, because of your will reigning in me, the joys, the happinesses are so great and so many that little as I am, I cannot embrace them all. But in so much happiness, there is a vein of intense bitterness in my little heart. I feel in it my children unhappy, 
slave to their rebellious will. Have pity, Holy Father, have pity. Oh, please make my happiness whole. Make happy these unhappy children whom I carry more than mother within my maternal heart. Let the divine word descend upon her and everything will be granted. And I will not come down off of your paternal knees if you do not give me the deed of grace that I may bring to my children the good news of their redemption. The divinity was moved at my prayers and filling me with new gifts, they said to me, return to the exile and continue your prayers. Extend the kingdom of our will in all your acts, for at the appropriate time, we will make you content. But they did not tell me either when or where he would descend. So I would depart from heaven only to do the divine will. This was the most heroic sacrifice for me, but I did it gladly so that the divine will alone might have full dominion over me. Now listen to me, my child. How much did your soul cost me to the point of embittering the immense sea of my joys and happinesses? Every time you do your will, you render yourself a slave and you feel your unhappiness. And I, as your mama, feel in my heart the unhappiness of my child. Oh, how sorrowful it is to have unhappy children, and how you should take to heart doing the divine will, since I reached the point of departing from heaven, so that my will might have no life in me. Now, my child, continue to listen to me. In each one of your acts, may your first duty be to adore your Creator, to know Him, and to love Him. This places you in the order of creation, and you come to recognize the One who created you. This is the holiest duty of each creature, to recognize her origin. Now you must know that my bringing myself to heaven, descending, praying, formed the daybreak around me, which spreading in the whole world, surrounded the hearts of my children, so that from the dawn, the daybreak might rise, to make arise the serene day of the awaiting of the divine word upon earth. The soul, celestial little mama, in seeing you just newly born, giving me lessons so holy, I feel enraptured and I comprehend how much you love me to the point of rendering yourself unhappy because of me. Oh, please, Holy Mama, you who love me so much, let the power, the love, the joys that inundate you descend into my heart, so that filled with them, my will may find no room to live in me and may freely give up the place to the dominion of the divine will. Little Sacrifice Today, to honor me, you will do three acts of adoration to your Creator, reciting three glory bees, to thank Him for the many times I received the grace to be admitted to their presence. Ejaculatory Prayer Celestial Mama, make the daybreak of the Divine Will rise within my soul. You have reached the end of day 11 of the Virgin Mary in the Kingdom of the Divine Will.
Yeah.